Yep. And here with Greenbrier West, Remy Cordial, and uh, Remy, obviously you guys on defense are um, really kicking on all cylinders, no points. How much of a source of pride is it you guys are the only team left in the, in the state that hasn't given up a point this season? Yeah, we love it. It means everything to us. We want to keep that zero throughout the whole entire season. That's our number one goal on defense this year. It's, it'd be a record if you can do the same with Meadow Bridge, the next opponent. Um, have you guys even delved into the history books like that? See, last time teams have done this, is it something you guys are that concerned about or just, just rolling up? We're just playing ball. We're just doing our best of our ability to keep that zero on the scoreboard. A lot of the guys that are on that defense are guys that are back um, from last year, a couple of new ones, obviously, but um, you had three all of last year. I haven't given up a point. What's the difference this year and, between this year and last year's? Team? I think our intensity and our heart has gotten a lot better. Guys like Ethan Holiday, he's a good uh, energizer. He likes to get on everybody, hype everybody up. He makes some good plays here and there. Um, when uh, when did you guys know this defense could be special like it has been? I think the first quarter first quarter against Buffalo. What at that point uh, let you know that? Uh, when we just we they thought they would be good on us, and we just kept them scoreless, and then we had no uh, yards on us. We just felt good about it. When was it something you guys started talking about amongst yourselves and you, you know you hadn't given up a point? I mean, that's probably not something you think about game one or game two, but I mean, when it starts adding up, you had to know that uh, you were doing something kind of special that hadn't really been done that many times here. Uh, not much. Uh, we uh, we got really excited about it for Summers County when, he kept, when we kept them scoreless too. Then we went on to Pocahontas and then Webster. Uh, on this team, and Greenbrier West is synonymous kind of with deep. They always have pretty good defenses. Um, on this team, amongst the 11, who would you say is the uh, hardest hitter? I mean, I, I mean, I'm talking nickel guy, but he's kind of he's not really that good at defense. I don't know. Just he's just that offensive guy. Yeah, I think he's an offensive guy. He can't hit nobody. Is it surprise you to know a guy he has more he averages more rushing yards a game than you guys have given up total? I mean, with the uh, off the year, he, you guys are getting 198 rushing yards. He averages 213 a game. I mean, with the offensive line like we got, I mean, which you're good. one of. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it was defense something that you got. You guys have had pretty good running backs here. You're pretty good offense. Is it? Is defense something that you guys really wanted to prove, improve on over the summer and coming into now? Yes, yeah, sir. We made that a big priority, especially with the seven on sevens and just uh, the August practices. Um, and you want to use, you mentioned you want to do it. How, how much do you think is a possibility that it can be done? I mean, I think it's only been done once in state history. I mean, obviously, with a lot of a lot better competition coming up, you got to think it, it could end at some time. But I mean, how much do you think is, it's maybe a possibility to do that? Got to take each game one at a time. Can't look that far ahead. And, and position you play on defense? I play three tech and one tech defensive line. And you think this is, is this the best group that you've been associated with? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, Avery, I appreciate the time and good luck this season. Thank you, sir.